Flood waters not only forcing some people out of their homes, but also flushing creepy crawlers out of their habitat and into yours. Cherokee Forest's Ann Bruner went to Polk County, where people there are seeing an influx of snakes and tarantulas. Keep these going up and lead them through here, they grab. Julie Dunn enjoys gardening around her London home. Move the rocks and... Wow, found another new hole. Since the heavy rainfall and flooding, she's finding more than just her morning glories climbing up her home. Yeah, they're coming the up close and they kind of like make a little tiny burrow enough to get in. So far, Julia spotted five tarantulas crawling around her house. She captured this big one Monday. My guess is rain. But we're going to have thousands of them <laughs> next year. Thousands is her guess because of what else she's found sticking to her plants, nests. Can you see the babies down here crawling on that web? While it's not a nuisance to her now, Julie says it will be down the road. And the snakes, they've been up by the house too, and some of those have been like this. The Roosevelt Parks and Recreation Department. Most of them are down here that we've seen. Also seeing more snakes this year near the waters, park restrooms, even inside their office. I didn't like that because it was a little water moccasin that had probably come up from here. I even spotted one during our interview. There's one right there. Yes, there is. By the way, there's one right there. Whether it's snakes or tarantulas. Well, we're way up here in the mountaintops. So I think they're all climbing up here. Neighbors like Julie hope the floodwaters start to recede so these creepy crawlers can go back home. In Russellville, I'm Suzanne Bruner. According to Arkansas Game and Fish, Arkansas is home to 36 species of snakes, only six of which are venomous. Still at six. And remember, it is against the law to kill a snake in Arkansas.